I think it's unhealthy think to it's spend the amount of time you girl. spend in judging decisions that parents make about their own children. I think it's parents none of your business. I don't think it's anyone's business. And schools are not doing not anything close to what the right wing is describing, okay. anything close. Five things you can do as a teacher to create safer spaces in your classroom or your house, really, if you want to. Number one, post a safe space sign like this one. You can Google it. We can promote a shame-free educational space by letting young people know that it's okay if they are curious. It's okay if they have watched porn, and it's okay if they have thought about porn. Yes. I've gotten a few variations of this comment, and so I figured I would just take a moment to talk about it in a quick video. Also, I was like dressed really cute, and I'm wearing my pronoun shirt, so I was like, it's perfect, let's do it. The badge has a QR code that once scanned, takes you to a website that has extremely inappropriate information. And as a parent, that crosses the line. A student from last year and I would coordinate our pronoun shirt. The same student came up to me on Friday to say hi. Noticed that one of my new students had a pronoun shirt too. We decided to coordinate today. A former student insisted that they send me an email to remind me to wear my pronoun shirt. We're up to three. It's the goal for by the end of the year. Here are some tips to help you learn your students' pronouns. Are you a boy or a girl? And what I do here. And now I have a trans baby bat fan club. Who am I? I'm your queer-coded goth fairy godmother.